while Linux is the most trusted and reliable operating system software. That's the episode today in Science is Cool, why Linux is safer OS. Hello, my name is Blair, your science teacher, and this is Science is Cool. Linux is the most reliable and secure than other operating system software. But that's not the only reason why you might not need an antivirus or a firewall while you using Linux. Linux isn't invulnerable. In fact, that's one of the most common cyber security myth that get Linux user in trouble. This belief makes it easy to put your guard down. And when your guard down is down, you're mostly likely to get a sucker punch. But just because Linux has security holes doesn't mean you need an antivirus or a firewall software. Software. While you might decide to install one and there's nothing wrong with that. So anyway, uh, I have my desktop right here and I'm listening to some music. And as you can see, this is my desktop in big Linux and it's uh, near Halloween. So I changed my desktop environment into this Dracula theme in the KDE Plasma. So as you can see, uh, my activities on my panel right here, I have the music which is going on right here and I just muted it so that it will not be capturing in my microphone and at the same time I have my Viver and of course the recorder right now this sc simple screen recorder on my Linux big Linux OS that is and I have the console right here so I'll let you sh uh, show you my uh, information a little bit of information in my Linux operating system software which is I'm using right now in my desktop which is big Linux and I'm hosting it in my machine which is the HP 15 model uh, I think this is way back 2014 and it is running through the CPU of AMD a6 with 5200 APU with quadro core only four cores okay four cores with two th uh, with two gigabytes uh, or gigahertz two gigahertz of frequency with a GPU AMD ATI Radeon HD 84 and of course my memory is the physical memory that is I have 12 gigabytes of memory of physical memory and at the same time I have I think 30 32 or 20 or 30 I think it's 20 yeah this is my big Linux uh, desktop with my processor right here so as you can see right here in my desktop, I have uh, the information and I'm running with the Plasma version or the KDE Plasma version with 5.25.5 software with the KDE Frameworks version of 5.98.0 with the Qt version with 5.15.6 and the kernel of Manjaro Linux with 5.15.74-3 which means this is the version 3 and my graphics uh, platform or my windowing is Windows X11 so let me show you with my desktop because some of my friends are saying that Linux is open source and it is not safe so as you can see I'm listening and I'm just having this a little bit like 0 to 2 
kilobytes uploading so which means I'm just returning my IP just pinging my music through the Firefox uh, let me show you okay so I'm listening actually in the Chinese music uh, or radio station in Singapore via the website me listen dot sg slash radio so I don't know if I could let you hear a little bit only uh, let me show it. okay I'll just gonna a little bit just okay that is <laughs> so I'm still listening actually so if I gonna stop this one and pause it and then my ping just stop right there because I'm not listening anymore so that is why I'm not releasing any information into the upload system like uh, other companies like Apple computers or Microsoft Windows computers so if you are using Windows you will have a little bit like more than like uh, 10 kilobytes which means you're sending some information and if only like 2 is just only the ping which means it is listening but it is waiting for some information to to communicate with your web browser so that is why this is safe and secure as you can see right now I'm in in my desktop right now in my other desktop and I think uh, Windows is try to catch up with Linux OS as you can see I was talking about these this uh, network monitor and they try to catch up like this advert right now so I don't know if I have another I'll just try to look for another here's another one another the same advert and it is basically the same promoting the network monitor in Windows and that feature was a old feature in the Linux community because Linux is providing the internet services or the internet servers around the world so that is why I have the laugh icon <laughs> because it was way back then and Windows is trying to catch up with Linux in today's time and of course I want to share with you the FOST or the free and open source software society leaving this uh, meme or just leave it with default theme and wallpaper to keep your sanity after all why shouldn't I customize this to the point of insanity <laughs> here's another one another commercial the same commercial the network speed monitor in Windows which is the same the same content probably the same owner of this commercial and that is Windows but the password is different it is so funny so yeah that's the thing with Windows they're trying to catch up with Linux and at the same time if you are wanted to change your so-called appearance or your theme on your computer you're not going to a website or to a third-party application right here in Linux you will just go to the system settings and if you are wondering if you're like changing your preference you just go to their system settings and go to get some themes like this one 
So my global theme is actually Dracula right now because, well, it is near Halloween and I like a, a little bit like like Halloween theme already. So, yep, that's my theme right now. So just like if you are looking for a new theme for your Linux, just go to your system settings and click get global settings or themes and it will just up and open all your your system settings by this is by actually contribution from the users different users around the world in Linux community so right now I'm using the KDE Plasma which is the plasma tv <laughs> yeah linux is around us we have the android android is also a distro of linux and plasma is also linux by kde uh, group organization and of course manjaro at the same time has a company also uh, Manjaro computers. They are selling some computers or computer parts, but they are not uh, getting information from you in your end because they are also in the Linux community and everybody is watching in their open source because it is open source. Anyone could check on their uh, operating or your open source coding so that is why you can be checked for verification of your application that is how cool is Linux is that's why 97% of our internet is powered by Linux and if you don't believe me just look into the internet and search even actually the Google the Google company is actually running in Linux like their Chrome OS but they are trying to move out from Linux but they are still trying to figure how this works for their existing applications because they are moving into a new kernel which is not in Linux but it is in Fuchsia so we are gonna take a look into that in the near future because they already announced it that in 2019 that they are trying to move out from Linux but they are still thinking about how to deal with their existing application in Linux because all of their system actually is running in Linux in Google even though there are close source but they are using Linux kernel so they are still obliged to to open the source code to the system that's why when you click your website yes I'm talking about any website in the world just like this one uh, me listen dot SG this is a Singaporean uh, radio station because I I will listen right now so I just post it so that you can see my um, website right here so as you can see I turn off my location because this is Linux so you can turn it off you have full control with your system and I'm using the Firefox browser right now with a theme of course my theme is actually the penguin Linux so if you right click any website in the world you are faced with this so-called view page source which means all of our internet our websites running in Linux because it is an open source you can open the source code for example the source code of me listen dot sg dash or slash radio as you can see all of this coding are 
open to view to anyone if you are a computer programmer or a a encoder of a website or a webmaster or any particular uh, coding or programming or hacking because hacking is actually programmers okay but the popular term for hackers are the criminal hackers <laughs> yes criminal hackers supposed to be there will be calling criminal hackers not just hackers because hackers is a programmer so I think they need to change the definition <laughs> Yeah, we have a lot of misleading uh, or should I say popular based on popularity. Yeah. So as you can see, this is the source code of me listen that sg slash radio. As you can see, you can fetch the windows and fetch uh, the uh, so called the JavaScript same time so you can see everything right here so that is why Linux is safe because everyone can look into this code and if there is a malicious type of information you will just be you know um, either been blocked or you'll be reported that your website is malicious so that is cool right you can see everything in their uh, source code so that is why it is safe in our Linux uh, desktop so let's go back to the themes because I wanted to show you because uh, in the Windows we use a third-party website to navigate and look for some global or some desktop themes so in Linux you have to submit your own content right here contribution your uh, contribution you just uh, click right here to contribute your own work so just click this one and then you submit your your uh, desktop or your theme or your uh, contribution in the Linux community either it is canonical or Manjaro or maybe system 76 or maybe KDE so it depends on different types of organization under the Linux community so as you can see they have to change and to to navigate it with this and then if they want to have a transparent plasma 5 transparency blur and rounded age or rounded edges with the UI or the user interface element so just make your own uh, theme and then submit it and then it will be available all over the world so that is why it is safe in the Linux community and yes so I want to show you the the Dracula theme that I download just a few hours ago the Dracula KDE plasma theme it also uh, show you the downloads how many downloads already and who is the author of this theme the Dracula KDE so the dark theme created using the awesome Dracula color pastels so cool so you have all the information that is why when you submit any particular uh, uh, contribution in the Linux community it will be shared throughout all over the world that is why when you open your web browser and then you have this different types of themes it's because of this community who is contributing their own work on the Linux community so that is why it is safe and everybody is looking into this uh, this uh, source code just like me uh, just like just a while ago I'll let you see the community uh, checking with this particular source code just like this one uh, Dolphin the desktop Explorer 
So if I could open the source code, I'm just gonna open Kate, the source code for the KDE. So okay, you see, this is actually the source code of the the uh, Dolphin Desktop Explorer. As you can see, you can actually find if there is a malicious code you can see right here in the source code there's a lot of of generic names they're already like file manager and they have also in english in uh, great britain in spanish gestor de archivos it is an archive so it is a file manager they're still locking some information so I could still upload and change this code so that everyone could see and can understand because this is the generic for the translation at the same time so it is it is cool so that is why it is most safe operating system software and desktop so if you are curious about it and look for the website, just go to the website. Let's go to the kde.org. That's one of the organization of the Linux community. So uh, I'm using it right now. So anyway, that's it for now for our science. Taking a look into Linux. Linux is not dangerous. Linux is safe. That is why Linux is safe. Okay. So anyway, that's it for now. This is Blair saying bye for now and see you in the next episode. And remember that science means knowing because science is cool. Ciao.